Hey guys, all right, Cuba here, and today I'm gonna show you some finger tricks that Cuba should know. The first one of the finger trick is called the uh, U push, which is like this. You push this with the other hands like this. This is really helpful when you have to like doing like a really bunch of regripping. Here's an example on how it works. The second of the finger tricks that is are the same way but we're using a, a little bit different finger trick which is you push the U layer with like your fingers like this. One handed sol 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 solver or or some people have already know this finger trick so it is cool to let beginners Cuba know. Here's an example of how to use them. Okay, so here's the third finger tricks, which this all of the cuba should definitely know, which is U2 flick. How you do is you flick your index finger while flicking your middle finger as well, so it creates a U2. You can do a left hand as well. This is a really helpful on finger trick when you have a bunch of algorithms that have a U2. So here's an example. On the third finger trick, we have this. You actually finger trick the U layer with your hands, like position like this, and just push it like this. This is a really good when you have a AUF on U, which here's an example. Okay, here's the fourth finger trick. We have to finger trick uh, the U layer instead of your like of all four fingers and pushing each other. So this is kind of awkward, but here's some case that which is really useful when you do them. Okay, so there's another way of finger trick on the U layer, which is you when your hand is like an awkward, you can actually push it like this. This is actually really common uh, finger trick when you're finger tricking T perms, F perms, R perms, or J perms, something like that. And here's an example. Here's another finger trick when this one you have you execute your when your right hand is in the position you don't want to regrip with your last F move you can instead use your other index finger to push this as well. So here's an example. Also, there's another way on finger trick the F prime. Instead, you don't want to use another index finger. Instead, you can use the thumb on the bottom. Just push it like this, which is really really helpful. And here's some example on how to use them. Okay, so this finger trick is a little bit different. Instead, you have a different F finger trick. Instead, if your hand is like in a weird position, you can actually do this. This um, F move, which prevents to um, 
avoid regrouping. And here is an example on how to use it. Okay, so here's another way on finger trick the F prime again. So what we uh, have, and when the right hand is here, instead you can choose the other left index finger or the thumb F prime. You can also do like this if your index finger push forwards like this. It is also um, same thing as this left index finger or the thumb. It just depends you uh, what finger trick you want to use. Just up to you. And yeah. So here's another finger trick, while well, we finger trick the R2, some people are just going to cap like holding the layer and do an R2. Instead when your hand is like on the back, you can slightly give it a little strength, just pull like this and get an R2. That helps a lot in the finger trick and here's an example. Okay, so this case of the finger trick is gonna be seems a little um, awkward and weird, but it's actually really helpful when your hands like you're doing the finger trick. While you don't have at times like or any um, fingers to push with the R move, instead you can use your little pinky to move like that, or even R prime as well. But I much more prefer the R. So here's an example. Okay, this finger trick here, where we have the R prime. Instead, when you have a, a hands like in a diff, uh, awkward position, you can instead have a thumb placing here and just do a flick of R prime. This um, finger trick is really to rare to using it because um, this is uh, like only usable for like U perms or something like that. Anyway, let's just have an example. Okay, if you want to like, uh, you don't want to finger trick your R prime like your thumb pushing like this. There is an, a really older way you can do, which is doing an R three, which kind of really hard. It means you have to this kind of flex so hard. So here's an example. Now this finger trick, maybe a lot of people know it, but beginners keyboard may don't know this, which is M2 flick. Uh, you flick it with your middle finger first, or your index finger, or your this ring finger, or whatever you can start first. I like to start with my ring finger, then go to the middle finger. So here's how you flick. You have to practice a lot so that your M move algorithm will be really fast, like C perm, U perm, H perm, something like that. And here's an example. Okay, so this finger trick is seems uh, really common to someone else, which is M or M prime flick. Um, how I finger trick is with the M, I finger trick with my ring finger, just pushing like this, which is kind of awkward, but it's actually make it faster. And for the M prime, just flick it with. Depends on what the algorithm. I oh, I can use these two fingers to flick with M prime, just like this. And here's an example. Well, the other finger trick now is called a D2, which you flick with 
on the, your in your ring finger and your pinky. So this is how you flick. So that when you flick D2, will be get fast in aprons or doing the cross solution. So you can flick, you can start on whatever finger you can start. I start with ring finger and pinky. You can also start with pinky and ring finger as well. So here's an example. Okay, so this finger trick, well, some people have to uh, flick it with, if instead D prime, you have to use your uh, right hand ring finger to push it. But instead, if you have a right hand, is kind of busy. But instead, you can use your left um, ring finger to push the D prime like this. So, which is really useful in E perms or something you're doing in the cross solution. And here's an example. Now once you learn those finger tricks, this is starting to ask you myself. Though is those finger tricks are important? Well here's a three example with three different finger tricks. So just take a look. So now What's the meaning of these three examples? Well, they have three different finger tricks. That means all the finger tricks you learn is really useful because you want to avoid regripping. And these three finger trick finger trick cases is um, like more convenient so that you don't you have to uh, avoid regripping. So kind of when you slow time something like that. So. It depends you what finger trick you want to use, it's just up to you. But we learn finger trick is because we want to avoid uh, like uh, regrouping augs. So here's the example. This one is the finger trick about augs. And this is what I mean on regrouping augs. So when you do F, instead you don't want to do, you have to completely regroup your hand, changing your hand and do everything like that. Which is really slow at your time. So. Yeah, make sure to give a like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys, hope a beginner's cuber can understanding on learning finger tricks, and I'll see you next time.